Get ready for another episode of Lucky Time Explosion! Wow! Wow, that's that nice. Is. All right. We got well, to start a band. Ooh, that was, hey, everybody. Oh. Welcome back. When is the album coming out? I know. <laughs> soon, right? <laughs> it's Friday. We got Akeem back in the house. And Akeem is bringing us special guests. We are current character over here. Hello. Yes. Julia. Sanel Nekova. Otherwise Hello. known as Otherwise someone known who can as... say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise known as the Oracle. That's right. Today we yes, are consulting yeah. with the Oracle. Yeah. Shout out to doing? Hector Hello. Gallery. I'm doing okay. How are y'all? We're good. Chilling. What's been in what's going on in your life now? Is it what's new in your practice? Oh, I mean, just uh I mean, if things are going on, they're going on in my life because it's just nonstop. Um, I mean, I just got back from a Can't tour. Stop, okay. I was there for three weeks a month. I did a visual art residency at the Illinois State University. Oh, that's cool. And I worked with students, made some sculptures, and that was cool. And um, then I was commissioned to do a couple rooms of an art show in center of Mexico City, which is great. It was a New York client and working I love with some Mexico, Mexico people City. and just... Just kind of like they had different rooms that he'd chosen curators for with like, you know, wall pieces that were pictorial and they were selling a few. So that was cool. I was doing like light art in the ceilings, um, mm. my crystal fragment series that I've been doing mm. for like over a decade and um, kind of got known for here in New York and uh, that I came about, you know, <laughs> refractive light and with my fairy organs hand cut sculptures hanging nice. there. Nice. Yeah, you're definitely known around the scene. You've been Oh, been that is so nice of you. I'm like so reclusive, so I forget <laughs> that people know that I exist I've and never, then I feel really I've awkward seen, about it. I've <laughs> yeah, never right. seen a more popular reclusive <laughs> in my life. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what that recluse. means. I don't even know how you. It's the more popular, the most they know popular, me. Most they popular have, they, recluse. They, they talk about me. I don't know what they're saying. They're saying yeah. stuff. Well, well I know you. Stuff. I know you initially um, from Vector Gallery. Oh, I miss yeah. Vector so much. Yeah, yeah. I've been writing uh, actually um, this book. I've written the majority of it, um, the book of Vector about me and JJ's relationship and creating yeah. that art R. and R. that JJ. whole journey. RIP. Yeah. It is. A uh, tragic, almost three-year anniversary to my best friend's staff. So I really I know that him. I know that affected you a lot, and like it know, affects me yeah. every day. I know. You know? I mean, you. I feel like yeah, anyone who's experienced the loss of like a best friend or close mm -hmm. family member or like you a guys sibling. Were tight. I yeah. mean, I mean, yeah, he, he was like my You're soulmate, still tight. my sibling. You didn't go yeah, no, he's he's, he's right around. Here. He right laughs here. at yeah. shit sometimes, brings me energy sometimes. Sometimes he's off on his own adventure, but I'm yeah. very spiritual, so I really feel like. He's definitely my closest spirit, you know, that has passed. Yeah, and my yeah. grandmother is there, too. I've been told by some psychics. So, nice. I definitely want to yeah. dig into the newer stuff you're doing and what's yeah. coming up. But I, I got to ask a little couple questions about Vector Days just because that's what how did you, I What know part you. did you experience? Because there were five <laughs> yeah. rentals of one-year galleries in right. New York and L.A. And there were, like, several pop-ups at Art Basel. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. the weird thing about it. I never actually got the opportunity oh. to really experience it it was such a kind of tertiary weird thing everybody knew about it at i the was time. aware of it it's crazy i watched you know all the content that was putting out from yeah. it uh i Which almost went to one of ever. those salons yeah. at, like his apartment you know mm. it was like that like two seconds away from going to one of those and something came up and i just kept missing it mm. and i just kept missing it and not and i've heard so many stories and i've like but explain what it was to, to people who may not have, be aware of it because i think it's a Great. really unique little piece of unar um NYC yeah. art history. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it still, you know, it was always JJ's baby from scratch. So it's yeah. still hard for me to even take authority of explaining it, even though. Even though I, you're the oracle. You know, I am the know, oracle. Yeah. And, and I worked with JJ since like 10 days into him having his first lease and starting that oh, space. Wow. Uh, through serendipity. Um, so I, I really have been there since the beginning and was like kind of second in command on so many projects. And he had me be a master of ceremonies and present the performance, like ritualistic performance art right. that we did at our openings that we got really known for. We got in the Wall Street Journal for and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. You were uh, you were in the official command structure of the, right, the uh, vector gallery government the vector government <laughs> the victorian <laughs> government which has seceded from the united states if i remember <laughs> yeah. always yeah. seceded and always on a different timeline and <laughs> something that always rings in my mind whenever i walk down the street or look at anything is jj said in an interview in like 2014 or 15 that in 2018 or 19 everything would look like vector gallery but he oh, was just yeah. right wow. and then yeah, you know yeah, yeah. unfortunately that was around the time that he wound down the project you know and like yeah. had to take personal time with his family and then covid started and just like 
yeah, so that was kind of like the end of the public portion of it, you know, so, but. So how did you find the transition from like being, cause you're the Oracle was mm -hmm. kind of part of that, right? Like, yeah, it people was really knew me for that at the time. Um, it's, 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 uh, yeah, no, even some well, younger in, in, people. In a certain sense, you're yeah. carrying on the legacy in that I'm sense. Trying. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. trying, I'm yeah, trying, yeah, 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 it's yeah. a heavy burden. I really want to open a new space. Like I, mm. I've had this idea for a space, maybe mm. like the Lemniverse, which is another uh, thing that he named, um, named one of his shows that, um, in, in the city or a temporary thing maybe, but that's what he had in mind. He was like, I will just uh, do a temporary installation with my art ideas and right. it'll be really intense. But then it turned into this five year thing because it just kept rolling, you know, yeah. and people, people just showed up like the very first weeks we were, we were there and I had just met him through a Craigslist ad of a poem that he wrote nice. um, about being an intern for Satan, which was kind of cheeky. Yeah. And I was just like, I was just like, I was just bemused, you I know? I feel like JJ is definitely one of those um, people that would be like, the, love that. The, like it's crazy, funny. you know, that your uh, your aunt or uncle online would be like, see, they're in league with Satan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just such a small part of his universe that yeah. everybody always describes like the most inflammatory I, thing. I always, I always, I always, um, I always uh, perceived JJ as like satirically Satanist. Like he was a satirical Satanist. Like, well, like, you know, in the last few, <laughs> iterations of the gallery for yeah. multiple years he called it the official gallery of jesus christ he was right. very against yeah. the binaries and dualities right. and yeah. just yeah. all about destroying them yeah, 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 yeah. you know and he was a very spiritual person and all about love and he right. talked about it every time we'd ask you know yeah, yeah, yeah. um so and if you didn't get a chance to go there back when they were hooking it real <laughs> nice uh, it was a very yeah. strange gallery because it was like covered in tinsel it was basically an art yeah, installation in perpetuity and it constant performance art you know just yeah. we'd let people kind of come in and people had like a wedding there you know there's so many things there was a fire there in fact even the east village location was closed by the city of new york for being an illegal religious establishment oh my, i mean wow. there was yeah, a poster you, slapped you guys on the door file for 501 3c first but <laughs> but i'm like you know I, who said Brandon, that Brandon, you know well, but jj that thought that <laughs> any um any religion should be able to be practiced in his space so that yeah. was like a tenant you yeah. know so well, there's so American. many unique things yeah. you know about his uh, idea of a space but yeah totally brendan so, how do you know that form number just now you just like, oh everyone knows 5013C. See, five, five, oh, not my bad. It's a non profit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Non -profit. I'm I'm sorry. sorry. Not every, I shouldn't say that's rude. I'm like, I, everybody I, knows I Akeem, don't you know? <laughs> Yeah, Akeem has the tallest hair of all of us. Right he does. Now. <laughs> I, you, you, know, win I had the, to you win the tall really hair high. contest today. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> But that was that was the past, and now you've got a bright future ahead as well. So there's oh, some pictures of what was going kind. on back there, some of your past performances. If you have any requests for the green screen, let me know. Oh, Throw hello, green there. screen. Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. But, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I just, green, the green screen. My imagination is leaping is into <laughs> what could possibly be projected there. Right. When did you guys meet? You and Akeem? Oh, over ten years ago. Ten years. Yeah, over ten years ago. We're, we're ancient. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're like, we're like from ancient Egypt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From I the mean, ancient right? Lower East yeah. Side. So, just, yeah. people, we were, we were there's like so many queens. waves of people since we've, yeah. we've been on the exactly. scene. Exactly. Uh, we were talking about them um, when we were on the phone the other day. I was like, uh, yeah. there, there's been so many uh, like classes that have mm -hmm. come since we've been. And, she, and we were like, like groups we were of like, artists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, like, you know, because we're kind of like a part of the same alumni. Like, we right. kind of came in at the same time. Yeah, and, um, and I think we met between like 2011 and 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around that's there, when I, yeah, you because know? that's when I was just beginning Quiet Lunch. Yeah. And I was like, really, I, I, I stepped outside of my house and I felt comfortable enough mm -hmm. in my brand. And Julia was one of the first people that I met. And I just mm -hmm. thought she was just so ambitious and whimsical and about her bi about and her. i remember meeting you and i was like, like oh my god it's a nice cool guy that knows about art and is like <laughs> seeing my work and yeah, just not exactly, being creepy exactly. and just being you know like encouraging yeah. and just like and i was like wow you know and, this is like you don't get that energy a lot in life so we've been friends ever since and you know what it's funny go. because she says i know about art. i am not classically trained i do not have an art history degree but mm -hmm. i do have a good fucking eye and a big heart <laughs> and i know when something's good and i let somebody know when something's good and uh, now you know it's important the form number you need you got it you know. <laughs> yeah. no i had like uh, my first fairy organ show in the rocks gallery on delancey which is Tell now condos i think oh, yeah. um they're these it's a, you know you know what that gallery i think uh the gallery now it's a where it was like the wall too i think it's wall a, a play wing, it, it turned into play, canal projects stop. and then it turned into something else it's a wing stop now <laughs> oh right now, I, I don't know if it's
it's a Wingstop, that whole building is like condos. It's just condos. Yeah. They knocked no, it down. Uh, no, because it burned down. And now on the corner where Wall Play is, is a Wingstop. And then next what to What is it, a Wingstop? A, a wing um, is like, wings. Like, like chicken, chicken wings. wings. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chicken wings. Yeah, the overrated chicken wings. And yeah. that's, that's, that's sad state of New York. Eric Adams, help Ooh, us out. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. kick out some wing stops. Mm -hmm. No, just like these empty <laughs> spaces all over the city that we all know has been yeah. a rising problem every year. Why, why do we have these like really kind of like esoteric controls of few organizations well, put put gallery well, shows in there. From, like like what we need we well, need some freedom heard, we need to put I some heard, art in the ground floors of new york heard, city from Definitely. what i heard they have a lot of landlords that are waiting for franchises to move they've in. been saying this for yeah. 20 30 years yeah, but they did start you know? charging like a property tax if i'm not mistaken audience yeah. you could correct me um in the comments you could be like you stupid fucking idiot you the came you ignorant slut <laughs> um, <laughs> um but yeah, they they also started charging to combat that they started charging like a property property tax to people who purposefully not, not enough, think not about enough. What, sanctioned not landlords enough. yeah has, has, has well, need to roll what <laughs> i've heard from some of uh my friends who definitely have the means to buy property who have yeah. an interest in buying property to preserve arts yeah. in the united in in new york uh, is that the city yeah they in, i don't know if it was under eric adams or de blasio but basically the city had this all bunch of space downtown that was like designated for art related stuff wow. it was mm -hmm. meant to be saved and turned into like art established you know creating new communities um nonprofits, that sort of thing and they got greedy and they passed a bill letting chase bank and jake pc penny and all that shit like buy all God of those damn, up man. so the people Terrible. i know who are in a better position than i am to actually create something to support artists like they're getting frustrated because like, yeah. you know, even the rich people are getting frustrated. Well, what they, what they need to, what do they to do is um, 1% for art like so many cities. Yeah, Come right? on. Yeah. I mean, this is yeah. New York City. This is the art city. Right. And we're, yeah. we're, we're screwing up. Uh, you yeah. know, everybody Immensely. like organized. Well, we, we need to get 1% for our at least. We through a CIA like, you know, PSYOP. So. Oh, well, we can go on that. But um, back to fairy <laughs> oh, organs, God, I was going to tell you. <laughs> yeah, um, tell me we about met, your fairy organs. We met through looking at my fairy organs because they were, they're these hand cut hanging sculptures that I do that uh, are yeah. iridescent and light up. I mean, for me, they're like, they're living beings that I'm molding with my hands. And then once they are kind of complete and lit in different ways, they're like, they're like um, their own refractive light realms yeah, meant yeah. to fill a room, you know, like I'm like trying to make each one out of different materials. And um, that's been like over 10 years now, a series that I've shown around the world. So yeah. that's cool. It's um, almost like organically synthetic in a way. And then like this like holographic ethereal, like yeah. it's, it's like its own entity and organism that she's creating. It's amazing. Do you yeah. say, you. you think you're like kind of continuing the tradition of like the light and sound movement people? Uh, or do you, I, do you know about which them? ones? Like the or the '60s ones from California on the beach. Sure, yeah. I mean, yeah, I know about those, but I'm influenced right by so beach. many. I mean, today, actually, later, I'm going to see the James Terrell uh, piece in the um, Quaker School in Ooh. New York that had very few viewing spots that I was able to snag by waking up at 9 a.m. one day, like a classic New Yorker activity. You know, <laughs> waking up so at nine. He he's <laughs> definitely one of my top inspirations. Very Yayoi cool. Kusama. Yeah. Um, what do you think of the Dolly, robot? The robot? Yeah, Which, the Yoya Kusama robot. Uh, you remember I don't, that? I don't that really in, think um, about it. I think she also made we, some quote where she doesn't really screen? think we about it. Throw, like, yeah, that the, was weird. A lot of yeah. people had a lot of stuff to say about that. Do you remember that, Morgan? The, I don't. The Kusama Yoya? It was um, Louis Vuitton, I think, had like a pop-up and they put her in uh. the window. And it was, it was like an animatronic of Yoya Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, I completely saw that. I'm so sorry. I'm having a blonde moment. Was, <laughs> not that Julia's <gasps> blonde. Julia's more like a, you know, an ash A little blonde. bit. <laughs> and, yeah. Um, but you're I naturally blonde, I, so that's why you're saying that. Yeah, yeah. I'm naturally right, right, blonde. Right, 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 right. I'm a natural blonde. I think um, what you're asking me. I saw the Kusama me. robot. I saw yeah. it. It was amazing. Um, I actually had footage of it. I'll send it to you guys cool. if you want me to. And um, it was so fucking creepy. Yeah, and, and and it looked like she was painting, painting on the window. On the window, I actually it was thought it was amazing. an old lady that looked like her, and they hired yeah. her to just go yeah. and stand in the. You yeah, know, yeah, they yeah. give her like some yeah. oats and to keep her yeah, healthy. Yeah, but, yeah. I remember so I hopped off. I hopped off the bus to like yeah. don't take like the crosstown bus that I take from the Bronx. I would I too. Was like, I holy that. crap! Yeah, yeah, it was amazing. I thought she was actually there. Right, when I was going by on the bus. I thought I was like, oh my god, they got Chris. I'm sitting there painting, and then when I looked, I was like. Oh my God, she looks so rubbery. How <laughs> old is she? <laughs> You're like, wait a minute. Tap, wait. tap, tap, tap. No, don't tap on the glass. I'm like, wait, she's not real. But anyway, yeah. that's cool. What was it? What do you, um, a lot of our, our, our listeners are like, you know, are people interested in being an artist coming to New York? Uh, what, are, like, do you have a couple like warnings or tips? 
or new artists in the city? <laughs> like, how do you find your community? Make how do you think art. they, you know, I don't know how people can come avoid? here now. It's so crazy, but yeah. Um, yeah. And people still do. And that inspires me. And I have a, you know, shared studio space. One of my main spaces where I design. So I see Where's your studio located? In, it's always been in a Jefferson L in Bridgewood and Bushwick. Cool. And I have several other studios that are kind of like my other production spaces for metal and lighting and like uh, bed in New been York. There, how long have you been there for? I mean, I've just been developing that system for like 12 or 15 years. Wow. You know, I've been in New York for 17 years. Mm-hmm. Um, I wanted to, before we, uh, you know, honorary, finish 30 okay. minutes, I definitely mm-hmm. want to mention that I have a permanent, uh, a one year public sculpture out of permanent materials Ooh. that was commissioned uh-huh. plug, for the. Plug, plug New York City Parks Department that's currently on Put it view. up on the map. Where is it? It's in the Queens uh, Flushing Meadows Corona Park Beautiful. next to the Queens Museum. Go and it's visit. called Light Portal. <laughs> and yeah, it has an LED element, but I have to like go there in person to light it up because of budget issues, you know, because it's so crazy to because of the temperature changes there, you know, it was like freezing yeah. all winter. So it's like hard to keep a battery alive. But um, I'm going to start doing that uh, Friday afternoons at four uh, or uh, maybe closer to six now that the sun is setting. You know, um, like right after the sun goes down. Yeah, head out like to the right, park. right before the sun goes down, I think, you know, mm. where people are still not creeped out over there. <laughs> light out and, awesome. then, and then and then it starts to go down with the light. That's nice. But it's it's made so that like all of my works, I make them so that they can be activated by light, but that they're also kind of activated by sunlight and kind of like uh, iridescent on their own, you know, so yeah. they're uh, it's something that you can enjoy and stand also, under there. I wanted to say this because you, you said when Brandon asked you for any tips or warnings, you said, uh, I don't know how someone can come here. Yeah, you, that's what a lot of people thinking, are feeling. Yeah. Are you thinking like a, a heartless New York is a heartless New York? Is, 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 do you we think, are not in a good moment. We have is, to be yeah. real. We have to be real. Yeah. I mean, it's like the Adams administration has been really bad for artists. The Trump administration uh, has been really bad for artists. Everyone ooh. knows, everyone who does taxes knows that Trump changed the freelancer rules. So we can't right. write off our lunch and right. stuff like that. Which you, you know? think would be in uh, favor so of writing stuff up. Which is wild because it's like these wait, are some of the lowest paid people in the country. Wait, uh, educate me because I'm being educated. I mean, repeat, I'm, repeat I, I, that you're going to have to look. There's no free lunch No free in lunch. Well, no more business right. lunch said, for freelance artists. Term, though. You said like a certain term. He he, he did what act? Or? I don't recall the act because oh, okay. I'm oh, not okay. in my politician Google right now. But it's it's for sure that he changed the freelancer rules so that we were able to claim less. That's crazy. And that's just really harsh because freelancers are at the bottom bottom of the pay scale and all artists are pretty much freelancers oh, you know so and then yeah i mean we're just it's generally just, uh, bad as a country at funding arts yeah. the arts are not something that we put tax money what's, towards. what's positive i'm like yeah. i think people okay when you come to new york or if, when you're in new york and you're waking up and you're like what the hell do i do it's just mutual aid groups i use facebook mm. a lot um oh, yeah. you i went know? to one the other uh, but, day but but there's like oh, I, I haven't i haven't been there much but just the woodbine collective i know is a big um you know kind of like a, a, a space a space where they're showing like documentaries yeah. where they're giving writers residencies for free they're they're, they're, they're doing to, classes and stuff you know did you ever go to or hear uh, support the people in the church off the park i haven't heard that come with me next time okay wednesday <laughs> it's at the um it's yeah. at the church oh, what's there? it's on the oh, one on the other side i want to go to church wednesday, i'm like agnostic to and spiritual but yeah. I, i'm like we need we need we all need like a well the funny thing about this i used thing, to go to a unitarian church like 20 years oh, ago yeah, maybe i should start that again <laughs> it's like there's them. no community you know yeah. it's after the pandemic i think is really rough go so. here go here with me it's every yeah. wednesday from 7 30 to 8 30 it's a trinity church uh off of um uh thompson square park uh-huh. yeah. and yeah. i yeah. swear to god i, I got uh-huh. dragged to it by a friend i ended up knowing like five people already who were there and I, I got, and I, I swear it is AA for artists. You text me right. like going text, around. We, yeah, we I was like, I don't know what I just came from, but they're sitting in a circle, and they're right. like, you know, I'm this. This is what I do. This is what I'm going through. This is the next show I have coming up. Oh, I mean, wow. I just think it's like anywhere, but especially as we start to reform, you know, like a cohesive scene in New York after kind yeah. of like the breakdown in the last few years. I think yeah. that it's just always so important to just pick a few things that you're passionate about, like yeah. like galleries or projects of your friends, or just like you know. Friends, hopefully, hopefully you don't see people as disposable. You want to just keep yeah. up with them. Like, like, you know, like choose your people, find your people and like support them, you yeah, know, and totally. just like, like they can people in New York, uh, people in the art world, people who are creative, they all have different projects. You know, it's like a yeah. kind of tumultuous world. We start like 
apps and stores mm-hmm. exactly. and 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 yep. thing, things like things are successful if they last a few years you know in yeah. in, in, in this world you know yeah, it's, if, I could, it's if, uh, I could, uh, if i could take a moment if we're going to talk about support yeah. um i have a friend in the building her name is yvonne hoover she's mm-hmm. a wonderful nail artist and technically they should like i consider them to be painters as well because they're you know yeah. they're, but they're creative and you know, if you want some funky nails done, hit up little baby Vaughn. Oh, there you on, go. On, on Instagram, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Nail commercial, yeah. very cool. Plug, plug, plug. So we got about ten minutes <laughs> left. Um, is there any, um, is there anything coming up that you want to plug specifically? Um, we can chop a, out for you. I have a show with bands at the Main Drag Music Hall on um, May third. May third. Yeah. Main Hall, good Hall. times. Go Mystery Vision. Book Ooh, me on that. They're that playing, cool. and uh, there's there's two or three other bands. Um, yeah, people were noticing that it's me, which is an ethereal trance pop act, just yeah. um, me singing with like these uh, beautiful ethereal electronic beats that we produce, but. Yeah, all the yeah. other acts are like rock bands so Thick. it will be interesting but uh, that that's, sounds kind of cool that's I'm, how they do it i'm gonna try and check that out if i can make it yeah we're trying to yeah. do that I, I agree with you about um rebuilding community you know yeah, obviously yeah, yeah. Exactly. i ran con artists for like seven years you know exactly. i used to run bushwick open studios for oh, yeah. five years oh, oh yeah. we can get into that with a lot of stories about that yeah, yeah. the new with the new owners the new of bushwick. People. i mean they just they the just I, artists, I, people amazing. always want my commentary on what's yeah. happened after i've been on it sure. but i just want to talk about what we did because that was the height of it you know nice. um, yeah i mean we got greatly. we got in yeah. the new york times every year due to my they press didn't, efforts they didn't have a very um the communal spirit now and i hope that we can do that i don't think it's i don't think it's our role to shade any Anyone who's doing a volunteer nonprofit work because yeah. it's impossible. But we had, had definitely amazing groups come together to do that project. Oh, totally. But it was but Bush, I mean, Bushwick Open Studios, and I worked on Gowanus Open Studios. I also worked on a Brooklyn Wide Open Studios with the Brooklyn Museum. Yeah. Um, I think it was like 2011 or 14 or something. Um, it was called Go. But it's just like open studios have. A, it's another symptom of our city is a little bit sick for the creative class. Even though we have the highest proportion of artists, we have right. like ten percent of people here report themselves on oh their taxes God. as creative wow. as artists. That's a good stat, right? Yeah, there. probably higher now. This was like twelve years ago that I think I read yeah. that. You know, um, so so I mean, you, you walk down the street, you hear people talking about their portfolios, like in the L train. You know, mm. so it's like yeah. that's kind of inspiring. But um, there's not. The open studio culture, I moved here and I got to participate in the height of it. It was beautiful. There was just like, Uh we were planning these huge free public art fairs and everyone was going to studios all the time. And I had studio visits throughout the year all the time, kind of from that, you know, and just we don't really after pandemic like we don't really do so much studio visits you know everything's yeah. digital um well, we're trying to get people together we need to get here, in you know? person yeah, 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 again yeah, exactly. you know we, we hope that we can pull a little bit of that community back yeah. together here with the show and with us yeah focus on local areas well, sweet we yeah. did yeah. yeah actually yeah. tomorrow is the uh, closing for this spring showcase yeah. if you want to stop by I, uh morgan um uh, you know with me being a reoccurring character here um i've grown to love this segment and um, <laughs> I want to know what day is it today? And Not also, sure. oh, I know <laughs> the holidays. This is Brendan's most hated segment. Exactly. I'm slowly coming around. I've been Stockholm syndromed into yeah. liking it. I'm, as trying I've to said like, before. I'm trying to like stoke the fire of civil war between you two. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one can come between us. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, tell us what stupid holiday it is because there's like way too many in this world. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you like pretzels? I love pretzels. <laughs> How much? Uh, a lot. You guys like pretzels? I like pretzels. I, I think they're okay. Pretzels. I hate pretzels. I, just they get like, I don't dry. like them. Me neither. I, what? I tolerate them. What? Tolerate yeah, pretzels? I tolerate pretzels. I like a good soft pretzel. What if pretzels. you're nauseated and you need a pretzel? I yeah. just eat a cracker. <gasps> well, you're not eating a cracker today because it's <laughs> National Pretzel Day. <laughs> That's oh a salty God. one. As I said earlier, it only makes me think of George Bush and that pretzel. Because like, it marked my childhood. Oh, like yeah. a lot of us. You know? Right. It's just like news, George Bush pretzel. I can't believe you showed me the George Bush shoe today. That was crazy. That sculpture. Oh, what other day is it? Right. What's this one? It's also International Chernobyl Disaster Remembrance Day. Oh my God. Oh God. You okay. Know that, you know that I just discovered there's a thing called the elephant's foot. Yes. In Chernobyl, in Chernobyl. And it's one of the it's the most radioactive thing on earth. If yeah. you ever if you even go near it, it's about like you'll size fucking, of this table. Yeah. You'll die like instantly. And what what it, is it a plant? No, it's the no. core that's uh, yeah. melted oh. down. Oh. It's actually melted that, through um, the floors, and yeah. it's now like a, just a mess. Of, it looks like an elephant's it's foot of yeah. melted yeah, yeah. like plutonium metal, I guess. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Do you think that anybody goes there to obtain superpowers? 
Um, yes. They had a, I saw a picture of a photographer. He was like feet away from it, but he was like covered in like, you know, that tinfoil suit. So, yeah. yeah you can get, something you can I like closer. everyone to keep in mind about themselves is like ever since the nuclear tests in the 20s, 30s, or 40s, who really knows when they, right when they started that, we've, we've been irradiated. So oh, we're, yeah. we're not, I just like to remind people, we're not in our right mind. Stop yeah. thinking, stop it. Oh, oh exactly. he's there. He's crazy. And he's the crazy. 5G. They're crazy. Listen, <laughs> like we're irradiated and and the 5G. And the 5G. And the 5G. Plus 5G. Uh, 5G is like that those memes of like the walking 5G like yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's like the 5G, 5G is turning into a Cronenberg you know, like a stick, monster it's like a tall stick you know um well, it's crazy you guys you guys have only seen me in the light usually when you turn the lights off I start to glow a little bit that's true oh, wow. yes. that's great. but I got a quick thing on that is that I love uranium glass uh, I, call, I love collecting uranium glass wow. which is like you uh, have your own glass. little uranium yeah, area a little, a little chunk of uranium <laughs> so it's it's glass that was colored with uranium it's greenish kind of thing and it glows under black line Wow. Well, there's the thing that's so funny about it. During World War II, the the women famously who would paint watch faces uh, yeah. got died of uranium poison because yeah, yeah. they would like lick their brushes yeah, exactly. with uranium paint, and they it made it illegal in order to put the the uranium in the glass to color it, uh, because not because of health concerns, but because we wanted all of that for bombs. So Ooh. the government wants to take all the uranium, put it in their bombs, so they basically outlaw uranium in use uh, commercially, so they can obtain all of it. But this myth that is that is toxic and, and dangerous to you has persisted so much that I get like, I'm in a group called Uranium Glass Addicts on Facebook and they're constantly wow. posting like these Facebook marketplace messages they get. Like, you know that stuff's radioactive. You should call now. You're killing your family Literally. having that in your house. We're blah, so blah, blah. embarrassing. We're all on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm like, so I, my, my group, that is my favorite group that you could join is I called Cone Spotting and we do traffic cones. Hell and you, yeah. And you just, oh, you I have to that, join it. It's not I'm huge. Group. It's just yeah. the best place to be. I'm cone spotting. I, look, I can, I can vouch for Life is very difficult. Group. You see a traffic cone, it kind of cheers you up. Wait, this exactly. is a good segment. What, yeah. what Facebook well, groups are you in? Bert's Tit. Do you know Bert's Tit Cones? I don't know that one. Oh, yeah, Jim they Tozzi. Have, they have Jim birds. Tozzi. Well, no, Bert you know, from Sesame Street. Have you ever Street. seen the, the, the sticker, Bert, and he's lifting up his shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, know what's they, a tragedy? On Popular mural. Signs, the Facebook group on Popular Signs, uh, oh, that yeah. million members closed. Too, too much drama. They just admins well, couldn't admin anymore. I from a sign, they, they I know, that's so funny. Un, you un, never unpopular know. signs, unpopular, yeah. unsuccessful, or I remember those. or unruly. I forgot what the un, un, <laughs> I completely un forgot about one. it. I was in that no, group. No, but I mean, I was just oh, I loved it. I was a thrill. And then I would post sometimes, and half the time they'd reject you. They oh, hated wow. you. They <laughs> hated crazy. everyone who posted. And finally, they were like, no one gets to post. I like it's making, just closed. I like making obscure Facebook groups. This for is weird important reasons. news, people. <laughs> I'm glad is. we spent a few minutes on this. You know which which popular Facebook. Groups I mean, this is the stuff of our giving. daily life, you know. You know, this is. There's I, nothing left. I like to start Facebook groups, so like I started a few. One's called "Is Everything Okay <laughs> Did you try at Home?" Discord. Like, I tried it. Okay. Yeah, I use it. Today. I use it, but is I'm just like, okay I just, I don't get, I don't no. get very happy when I'm on hold there. On, hold on, hold on, Brandon. Hold on, Brandon. Yeah. Is everything okay at home? With yeah, that's the name of my most popular <laughs> Facebook group I created. It's called "Is Everything Okay at Home." And what it's basically you tag. It? It's a tag group, so you uh, tag it when people are being like out of pocket. Uh, you're like, you just tag it, like, is everything okay at home? Like, what is wrong with what's you? What's at home? What's going on? Uh, you know, uh, and it's still a picture of like a therapist, like talking to you. Uh, my other favorite, my favorite one, which I get a kick out of, but no one seems to think it's as funny, is a group called "You're Never Gonna Turn Into Wolverine with That Attitude," and you're meant, <laughs> you're meant to tag it when people are protesting the unsafe use of metal. Oh, wow. <laughs> very specific. It gets very specific. The more specific it is, the more I like it. All right, I want I want to hear another day though. I want yeah, to hear what, what other days. I'll, I'll like try to burn like at least two more days. Yeah, I don't want to torture this guy anymore. Yeah, than yeah. He's been we tortured just, like, just two more. I like it now. He's yeah. already kicking me under the table real yeah. hard, <laughs> pinching me and shit, <laughs> putting a pin on my shoe. Uh, Ow. He got a third um, arm that he can pinch you with because both the He always pinches me all day long. Once the show ends, it's like a pinch fest. Yeah. Pinterest. Uh, my day parents are worried. I get home, they see me bruised all over. I have to explain. That sounds, that sounds hot. My co-host <laughs> is just pinching me hard. Uh, <laughs>
Uh, and usually he pinches me in the garage because it's also <laughs> National Garage Day. Yay! So that's where the pinching commences. We, are in the garage. Garage. we only pinch in the garage. Have you seen that meme that's like uh, <laughs> Amazon started in a garage, Apple computers started in a garage, and then it's like a millennial, you think I can afford a garage? Ah, that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you, somebody posted like the other day, uh, you know, where are all the barbecues at? We're the new adults. And I commented, in what house? Everybody right, liked right, it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Where are we going to barbecue? It, and I'm like, literally. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I A like barbecue. Get your landlord to agree to that. Yeah. yeah. I'm lucky. Yeah. Actually, I'll invite you guys over for one because I do have a rooftop access with barbecue on the, on the Upper East Side, which is like rare. Also, I know. So Maybe. For that. Maybe. Also, I think that might be a white person scarcity because like. So, but black, I, that's true, but black people always find a place to barbecue. You're like, we'll do it anymore. Like, I always on. notice that uh, everywhere, yeah, but, all over the country. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, with, with, with the blacks and the browns, um, <laughs> we be barbecuing. We be barbecuing on a fire escape. We be barbecuing. No, that's true. Any, I always see like the any, best, yeah. most creative setups. Yeah, you could, yeah, no, yeah, it was, like, My oh, favorite yeah. barbecue <laughs> I've ever seen was like a black people birthday party in, in a Queens, <laughs> like, you know, that park underneath Socrates. So I just had to I tell you about this because it was, it really, it really, I wish I could join them. I was like biking by. They had. <laughs> out of the apartment building they had the power line and yeah. then they had it across the road which exactly. was like six lanes exactly. and into the park and that's where they had their dance party barbecue i love it not even a big I party just for their families yeah, exactly. i was yeah. like awesome. go off Take control yeah, exactly of right. the electrical grid. We, we don't give a damn. All right, so we got one more day. Well, we got a, Do we? Got a I'll, I'll run through them. It's Rock, National yeah. Hairball Awareness Day. So oh for God. people Ugh. who have Ugh. dogs and cats that shed... This is your very special Let day. me get mine up for you. <laughs> I'm I remember years ago, I don't know if you... Imagine just all your beard Just any here. excuse but to make gross any noises. Any of you guys like watch... Uh, you guys <laughs> watch Ren and Stimpy at all? Oh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Ren and yeah. Stimpy. Ren there was Boy. one episode where Stimpy's horfing gland... He started yeah, yeah. creating hairballs and they were selling them. Yeah. yeah. And then his horfing gland died. Yeah. That was And he had to go inside traumatic. Stimpy's body to like repair his horfing gland. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was a traumatic episode. It I remember was. that. And like, I remember seeing his little thing shriveled up, his little gland and shriveled up. And then it turns up, to dust and, and blows dust. away with the wind. And I was like grasping my tonsils as a kid. Like, oh, oh my, God, my God, something God. inside God. me is going to do the same One thing. One of the greatest cartoons ever. Also, it's National Help a Horse Day. If a, there's, I guess... <laughs> Yeah, I love DJ Horse Girl. I love you, DJ Horse Girl. Oh, DJ Horse Girl. Yeah, I, I love you so much. That, but I'm gonna have to check. I want to be in the front row. The but the horse head, right? She has a horse head, but she's hot too. Yeah, hot horse girl. Hot horse hot girl. Good at like a Hot horse girl. Yeah. <laughs> it's National No Makeup Day. Oh, this is like the first I'm day I've worn makeup in a month. I'm ready. It's you're, you're, don't go against. You go against the grain. You're a rebel. Yeah. I can't yeah. stick with them. The it's norms. also National Static Cling Day, which is super. <laughs> that weird. one's hilarious. It's Nas in the winter. That's wrong date. And like, we're, wait a minute. Oh National God, Static Cling so Day. Says, like that's an it irritant. No, it's, in the, it's, in the, it's like December 13th. That's a great point. Yeah. Yeah, it's like so, January I mean, 24th. Uh, yeah, it works. It's That's not no. March. But also, April. why are we celebrating an irritating thing that happens? When <laughs> are stuff we celebrating sticks to you? it? I mean, or are we it's commemorating day. the day that it damaged someone permanently? See, well, they were very Who specific knows? about the about Chernobyl. They said it's Chernobyl Remembrance Day. They did right. not say it's um, static, static cling awareness avoidance, danger day. Like avoidance They're day. celebrating we'll this shit. One more and it's wrong. There's one more that's going to cap this off. Okay. It's Remember Your First Kiss Day. Oh, my uh, first kiss, my first Okay, kiss. everybody has to do it. Yeah, everyone has to okay, tell the first um, kiss stories. My first kiss was... Uh, How four, old were you? I was four years old, little Puerto Rican four? girl. Four? Bro. I have to, I have to, Damn, I have to player. Okay, you got to do the teenage Damn. one as well. Okay, all right. Well, I'll tell you this. The Puerto Rican girl one, because the Puerto Rican, she was hot in the pants. And then she was like, she was like, come and kiss me. And like, I was like... When you're four? Know, like, yeah, I was like, I, was she like forty five? Is, is this child abuse? Yeah, dude. Yeah, because I, uh, because I was about to say it the wrong way. I was about to be like, she was four, and not mention that I was four also. Yeah, you got to do that. Oh, <laughs> yikes! No, she was um, forty five. Then I think my I don't think I don't think I really remembered it after that because she was always my first kiss. Um, hot Puerto Rican girl next door, and she like you know yeah. She ushered me. I don't. I don't, I don't have like kiss like memories at that yeah, age. She, I had memories. Yeah, I remember that. She made wow. me. A, she made me a man that day. Wow. Yeah, I grew. I grew like one chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out, guys. I, Look what I got. Yeah. <laughs> what about uh, what about you, Julia Sanalnikova? I think I kissed uh, this boy when I was four too, but I don't really think of it as my first kiss. Also, he was like. 
back in Russia when I was uh, on the farm back before they shipped me out, you know? Um, and, yeah. and so he, I ended up going back. He ended up uh, dying, I learned, at 11 or something. So I always think of that. I was like, oh, my God, that was like my, oh. my four-year-old boyfriend. Like, I, that was, I love that boy. Like, we just, like, walk around the neighborhood together and picking berries uh, literally when I was four. <laughs> Yeah, no, but uh, I think so it's interesting sad. that you're a Russian farm girl. I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, no, just for a second. Yeah, uh, I had many, I many phases. I was actually born in Israel uh, and uh, lived in Ooh. Russia and uh, lived in Austin, Texas for 15 years. I'm from Austin. Before, I'm oh, cool. Yeah, I, was born there. I, Austin, I think of myself Texas. as from Austin too, as well as the other places because I did all my formative years there. But but I also have have like my real memory of my first kiss is funny because it was like. I think it was like 11 or 12 or 13 and it was like a New Year's party in the summer weather for some reason in <laughs> Austin. Maybe it was 4th of July. It was just like, I felt like it was New Year's but it wasn't like that. Cling day, it doesn't, it doesn't get like, cold. <laughs> we were just, I just remember we were on a trampoline. Static cling day. I just think that's funny. Yeah, we're like we had a first time. kiss on our trampoline. Were you like you there was and mistletoe? Yeah. I think there was a there was a New jumping? Year's party. Like, we weren't right. jumping. We sat on it. Oh, oh you're okay. sitting on oh, it. That would have been trampoline. epic though. At yeah. the same time, jumping up and down. And like a first cartoon. kiss. That would have been a very mo mo like, I mean, it special. sounds like yeah. you would just knock your teeth together. Oh, just goes. Oh my god. Morgan, I feel like Morgan's kiss was like a triple kiss. His first kiss was like a yeah. What was your first kiss? The furthest opposite thing. Have you ever kissed an alien? Definitely, I've seen it. Um, I would. Does it on his OnlyFans? Yeah. That's disgusting. Oh, well, that. That's coming soon. That's, yeah. that's a whole lot. But what was your real first kiss? The OnlyFans. What so, was your real first? I've teamed up with uh, Eva Mueller. Oh, I love Eva. And uh, we are working on this uh, collaborative, the, the penis oh, collage. I love Eva. So it's going to be Eva. amazing. The penis collage. Yeah. Well, she, analog, she's really analog. on a penis tip. For <laughs> so is he? If I could say that. They met. Like, oh yeah, so you can say penis tip. We both know Eva so well in the penis regard. Because yeah, I was her had... press agent for the uh, Flowers and Chocolate Black oh, Dick oh, and Flowers solo yeah. show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We totally um, talked about yeah, yeah, yeah. this show. What's his name? Christopher's Gallery? What's his name? Oh, Stout. Christopher Stout's yeah. Gallery. Yeah, he's been we, around for... That shout was, out uh, to Christopher Stout because um, he's someone that has been nonstop art since I've known him for like... 14 plus years so mm. kudos to him yeah um, we're, we're also from the work. same period uh, um no but that was not to not to um re remember eva's work is actually very beautiful fine oh art you know it's yeah. just like so detailed and uh, poetic you know but it's uh the way that she explores um taboo subject matter i think right. limits the venues that she can show in but of i course. feel the same way i mean any artist that has anything to say uh is pretty much out of the lobbies of facebook and google which is where the commission money is uh -huh. yes yeah. well i feel yeah. like you know use what mama gave me and uh i'm finally putting it to use to to try to make some money yeah well yeah. The, the, the funny the lobby of facebook google thing i do have a friend who did that and he was doing something kind of interesting with tech and art which is why i feel like i'm not you know fitting in because I'm like VR painting on TikTok, you know? Right, <laughs> tech and art, it seems like a requirement for you to be bridging some sort of technology divide now, but I think we need to kind of separate all these fields again it's because weird. it's not artist's job to do fixing all of society, you know? It's True. like it's like as artist's job to create explore, to. explore, you know, like adventurous ideas where yeah. people can play. I find like that stuff is adventurous and interesting with the technology, of course, but there it's is not the a only very thing that weird, exists, you yeah. know, and then we're, we're also like, I'm just so interested in a uh, international tribal art. Uh, and yeah. it's like, why, why not look more at our roots? You know, but if um, you look back at like the you know the, some of the institutions, they're still championing like oil painting and bronze sculpture and stuff. I mean, what it, about the MoMA just championing uh, Rafiq Anadol in the lobby though? I yeah, mean, that's it's MoMA. it's yeah. it's uh, a lot of institutions. Yeah, no, but um, I before before I guess I shouldn't say institution. I, I guess what I do really you want to say your first kiss though? Oh, or, yeah. were you well, gonna I, I, I got to get to Morgan. Uh, yeah, whether we even so Miller? basically, no, uh, even <laughs> she was my first kiss. No, <laughs> um, so I was kind of from uh, second grade to seventh grade. I was. Uh, heavily prescribed Ritalin. Okay. So like I kind of, my I'm emotions sorry. were, my parents just wanted to help me. You know, they didn't know any better. And the doctors, of course, getting paid. Mm, at the everybody, so, like, everybody was pushing. Yeah. yeah so I was Everyone like 40 was on milligrams a day, a, which is nuts. Dose. I would take a 20 in the morning and then I would take another one in the middle of the day. So I was like, Zonked. you know, the lunch ladies would be like watching me not eat. And they'd be like, how about a candy bar? And I'm like, wow. <laughs> wow. So I was kind of, um, tweaked for a while yeah but the first kiss i truly remember i was a little bit older uh my memory isn't so good i was 16 and um we were playing truth or dare and they were like i dare you to kiss your girlfriend for a minute mm. so i did and i just remember it was like kissing a horse 
Oh, she was just like, oh, 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 and I'm like, what the oh, fuck? Well, is because going if your on? first kiss is for display for others, it's kind of hard to get romantic too. Yeah, right? really. Yeah. That's she, an odd position once to be I, put in. It was in. like a sucker fish. Once I like went oh, like hilarious. attached, it was just like, dude, she locked in. It was like kind of like a, a scene call from out. Saw. Like, radio call out. You have radio to kiss your girlfriend out. for ten <laughs> minutes until you die. That was cut like, from uh, Saw. That is funny. All right, next first kiss. Next first kiss. So, okay, you, All right. you're next. So mine was on Halloween. It was my first girlfriend, and uh, we were out in a park, and she tried to lure me into kissing her by putting a bite-sized Snickers bar in her oh mouth, right? And then being like, eh. And so How old are you? I 14. Oh. Yeah. And so bite, bite sized Snickers at 14. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. so we're we're trick or treating at 14. <laughs> right. It's way too old to trick or treat. But that it's was a small town. Year. I didn't have anything else that to was do. Last year. But yeah. you know, so she puts this bite sized Snickers in her mouth, and I go and I fucking <laughs> Bite it, and I like bite her lip too, and she starts bleeding. Oh, <laughs> oh, my, God. oh my god! And she's like, "Oh my god, you bit my lip!" On your like, first kiss? Yeah, I, I drew blood on my fail, first kiss. So. Fail, yeah. fail, red <laughs> warning. That's kind of hot, though. Red flag. Yeah, that's all right. Kind of well, we've all evolved our kissing, oh, hopefully, that's true. from oh, then. My. But um, before we finish this podcast, I yes. want to mention that I have a permanent public sculpture opening in Tallahassee, Florida, for the city. Oh, in Florida uh, as which well. Is I mean, address for that one too. I mean, it's it's been commissioned by the capital uh, of Florida for their public sculpture park. Ron DeSantis himself. Uh, Ron DeSantis himself Came probably out. doesn't know that Fuck his people DeSantis. have yeah. used his taxpayer dollars to commission a queer Russian Israeli immigrant from. Oh yeah, don't let New him York know City anybody. Also, don't uh, let him know to do <laughs> yeah, some know. abstract art, you know. But um, that's cool. Yeah, so it's, it's actually a little up. encouraging to hear Florida's doing that. Well, yeah, they actually have amazing black women director for the Tallahassee Art Program I mean, that they they've been doing, and they commissioned, um, you know, a huge amount of like historic art to honor the community there. And this this piece that I had pitched a couple years ago was just like uh, to honor dreaming and play, mm. you know, because my work is abstract to create spaces for people. So this but one the in rest Florida's of them, about that. The rest mm. of them in this like big park called History and Culture Trail are like they have historic plaques. And they also have, um, you know, like some bronze statues and murals, you know, just things that are a little bit more pictographic, but nice. yeah, so it's going to be opening. It's all, they're all, they're all like in the final stages of finishing touches. They're mm. doing the ground. So they're going to have like a big celebration somewhere, I think towards the end of summer, but then it'll cool. be up permanently. And it's like one of the biggest things I've ever done, Excellent. Uh, you That's know, so. That's really exciting. Congrats. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Dreamwaves, oh, Dream Waves, Tallahassee. Thank very you, cool. Tatiana Dugard. That is permanent. That's what, amazing. Yeah. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. yeah. We'll be sure to drop all that in the link below. Small Go shout out, out the quickly uh, to Gregory's who makes <laughs> really strong fucking coffee because. Yeah, you're shaking. Uh, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I grabbed, oh, I just I realized Gregory's I had good. coffee before I had the matcha, so now I'm screwed Holy up for shit. today. Oh, uh, boy. You're no, because I right, think it's like caffeine. It's, yeah. It's like uh, jet fuel. Yeah. I'm, more of, I'm more of a tea Holy guy. I'm more I, I did I'm more tea for a few years, and I switched back to coffee about a year and a half ago. Mm. I'm crazy. Yeah. Is there, yeah. <laughs> I switched back. Yeah, I just put meth. Welcome. I just put meth in my tea. There you go. Basically. <laughs> way better, way smoother. You get along with my ex roommate. <laughs> Just Mine here. too. Hey, hey who does New what? York City? You know? hey, Look, drop, it's drop, New York. Drop, drop, drop. For meth. It's <laughs> New York. I didn't know. I didn't know. Everybody boofs a little meth in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. You find out you sometimes. Know? Because oh, we live in close in a very interesting way. What's that? No, seriously, addiction is a huge issue in this country. We it's need to true. Work on it. no, it's not fact. to name any names, I'll end it on this, but this is pretty crazy. Yeah, one day uh, I got a, a call during the mm. day here at work, and uh, from my neighbor, it says, You're probably not home right now, but I hear your name is. Na or your roommate screaming in agony and <laughs> smashing the walls. Oh, oh literally and I was like, the same Holy thing. Fucking shit. Oh my god! It was so similar. I got back to my place in Bushwick, and also it was like train Bushwick. spotting. It's like train, train spotting. Yep. Yeah. And, and oh, I'm like, holy yeah. shit. Yeah. Why? Like so why is this a recurring Scratching, experience? I sit in the back of his head. I'm like, dude, because we have a holy problem. Holy shit. This. Yeah, I guess it's just a Brooklyn Bushwick thing. It's, it's a USA thing. Getting your laptop robbed too. It's a world That's thing. another Bushwick thing. If you haven't oh, yeah. had that, it's coming. So just g g save up. Yeah, save I that have a desktop. It's coming. Just use a smartwatch like, instead. It's attached to you. I thought uh -huh. I was like, I was like, oh, I made it for like five or six years, and then it happened. I was just like, just save up because some Bushwick. Was it the same guy that was doing the meth? No. Oh, just I wanted to. It. I love this conversation. It was a crime spree too. at the lofts. Crime spree at the lofts. I had a guy. I got a guy who was um actually one of our last guests, Craig Allen, who was an XM radio host. Uh, I know, he I got know totally blamed at Con Artist, not by me or anybody on staff or any of our friends. Con Artist Art Collective. Yeah, the Con Artist Art Collective that used to be in New York. R.I.P. That. Yeah. But um, 
is this guy was going on a tear going to all these Lower East Side galleries and stealing people's laptops. No. He was, just, he was on a tear. That's really smart. Not Craig. Because not if Craig, I wanted but Craig to go was getting steal a few laptops and I was like, I don't care. You know, that's yeah. a really perfect place. It is. Yeah, yeah, but I actually, plan. I had to yeah, help. I had to help them. I was about to say that. That sounds perfect. You know, I'm like, what a genius. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. for a criminal, you know, like top level. Like, you know, yeah. just like. Yeah. But, but I had to, I had to catch him on camera <laughs> and I had, to, I had to help the, I had to help identify him and they finally caught him and they put him up there and yeah. then Craig was like, thank you so much for helping these, these people it's were blaming me. I don't think those kind of crimes are actually <laughs> as <laughs> that <laughs> common in New York, but when people, people get on a binge, you know, but people it's like, people also steal just, weird shit too. Yeah. Things that you would never think well, that someone would steal from you, like a already. nice rock you just, sitting you just outside your building. rule for everybody in America and in the world, if you just want good mojo, just yeah. you have electronics and like the desirable things that we humans save up for and want, just put a pillow over it when you leave the room. Just don't make it a thing. If there's a window <laughs> like just if someone knows you know someone no one needs to ever know that you have anything this you know really weird, and it uh, just like diminishes the ideas you know? i had a because, recycle bin that was full yeah. of cans yeah. just outside my door and literally someone stole the fucking trash can with the cans nice i mean well that's money disappeared that's i had money. to go around the building saying the cans did you take the, the, the thing money. with the cans they're like why would we take that i'm like that's it's That's another Bushwick thing. People putting a sign in every building in the hall, like you took my blah 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 that oh, was yeah. outside of my door, and I'm like, yeah, we all did. Yeah. <laughs> Caught red hand. Right. Everyone who does that. I had a neighbor who stored a like a stored for some reason like ten thousand rolls of paper towels in cardboard boxes oh my in God, the hallway. Mine. mine. Yeah, I would in go up and grab one every once in a while, yeah. and then they were like, "Stop stealing my paper towels!" I'm like, "Oh, I thought it was over the building. It's in your hallway. Take yeah. them inside your house, bro." Like, <laughs> what are you doing? The There's so many. I didn't know what they the were doing. Side by side living is a daily uh, situation yeah. in the city. No, right. So yeah, side but that's living. why I think it's important for everybody who's creative to like get out of the city. It's not. Get out every it's, once in a while. It's usually, you know, pe people are just like, "Oh my god, I can't afford to go anywhere." It's like actually usually cheaper to be anywhere than right, here. Right, so, right, right. but like, I that's what I like about New York, and I know it's got a hard times right now, and it's not going through it. But I still like being here, and I still I can't I, think of anywhere else. People are always yeah, people my whole life yeah. have been asking me right, like right. where I would move. I don't know. I like we, we have like no, the well. best health care. Um, we, it's beautiful and interesting. I don't know. Yeah, I, um, I, and also it's like we pay so much to live here, so that we don't have to go on vacation. Everyone else pays nothing to live in the rest of the country, and yeah, they yeah. come here on vacation. Well, you're yeah. just on vacation. No, the art the scene is definitely back. You know, it's been it's the last back. couple of years. Yeah. You yeah, know, you know why it's, it's back. Uh, it's been heating back up. You know yeah. why it's back. Why? Because a little podcast got started called Lucky Time Explosion <laughs> here at Solo Studio. Punch, 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 punch. I'm going to anyway, put my rose-colored glasses on. Put those rose-colored glasses on. There we go. About go it. outside, guys. Go touch some grass. Go make some art. Come visit us in New York. Thank you so much for joining us. Go check out the Oracle, Julia, and Morgan's upcoming collage day show. We'll see y'all next time. It's